Right there, very real. Hi. Hi. Worst show ever about the Hammer or best show? Providence, Rhode Island, how y'all doing tonight? Here we are, immersed in what can only be called an extinct bank vault. This is fantastic. A comedy club that looks like a prison and a bank. Harmontown is now in session, Rhode Island. Oh, yeah. Would you please welcome to the stage the mayor of Harmontown, Dan Harmon. No, 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 no. That's, that's, that was the end of the song, Rhode Island. Uh, uh, some facts about Rhode Island, Jeff. <laughs> well, you just told me you did the Wikipedia, though. The typewriter was invented it's here? not true. <laughs> it is the smallest state per capita. Per <laughs> capita. Uh, it, uh, it is only 175 yards across. <laughs> it is between the uh, uh, lower uh, curve of the uh, Tangiers River and the Colorado uh, uh, Peninsula. Wow. And uh, it's, uh, it's the most haunted state. <laughs> There's a lot of ghosts. Are, are there any famous ghosts? There are several famous ghosts. Uh, King Tut uh, uh, haunt, is rumored to haunt the Biltmore, which is uh, just down the street. Uh, uh, Charles Dickens uh, uh, apparently roams the old First Street uh, promenade, uh, w still warning children about the events of Halloween 1912. <laughs> And uh, 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 also, uh, uh, Connecticut ha haunts Rhode Island. Why is that? Just, just jealousy. <laughs> so ever since Rhode Island was invented, Connecticut kind of became yesterday's news, and I, 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 it suffered a sort of public relations death that uh, uh, it felt uh, unjustified in. And I think it, you know, if you if you still listen very quietly, you can still hear Connecticut. Weeping in the winds of the Rhode Island Expressway. <laughs> All right, I didn't do any research. I figured it was a small state we could get away with one night of just hanging out. A lot of you probably came here because we begged you to at the, uh, at the Boston show. Um, and still others of you who weren't begged probably, I mean, what, Rhode Island's like 30 feet across. It's like, like, like what are the odds that anyone's actually from within the, the boundaries of the state? Who, who, who do we have here that's actually a Rhode Islander? Clap, don't raise your hands. Let's go to work. Huh. Actually, well, when they, yeah, that's, uh, actually a shit ton of people. The entire population of Rhode Island. Now, how, 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 how big is Rhode Island? What's the actual, what? 35 it, by 40 miles. Like 30, 35 by 40 miles? I would have no idea if that was a joke or not. Like, I wouldn't know. Like, you could tell me 350 miles. I, would, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have any sense of the, of the scale. I know that when you look at it on, 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 uh, on, on the internet, it's one of the few states in the US where they have to have that little magnifying glass thing come up like they can't just put the red you know dot on it that it has to have like a little inset where they're like it's over here and that's it. I mean I, I think that's nothing to, to be ashamed of I don't know what having a big state gets you I don't think I think that's stupid I mean it's, it's, it kind of defeats the purpose of being a state like, like, how are you supposed to make all those people happy? What kind of laws are you going to pass? Pass a law in Rhode Island, you know that it's like firmly set because it's like, you know, it's like only a couple people like said this. <laughs> no, no smoking. <laughs> For real. Me, Carl, and Dave said so. <laughs> now, there's a reason Dan uh, did Wikipedia in Rhode Island today because he was very busy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I turned in my uh, CBS script for, yeah, uh, today. <laughs> I've been kind of, you, you've probably sensed in the previous tour episodes that I've been a little preoccupied. I, 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 I wasn't really letting my hair down that much. Uh, uh, it was because I had something, you know, I had that on my mind. And now, uh, now, I, uh, uh, now I'm done. Now I'm free, free clear. And you've got like 48 hours to write a whole other script, don't you? Yeah, yeah, for Fox, yeah. <laughs> 
But that's, that's you know, that, that's going to be the next community. That's not going to be a problem. That's fine. <laughs> that's going to come easy. The CBS thing was like rolling a, a brick up a hill because it's like, Jesus Christ, why is, it, why is everything double-spaced? <laughs> That's how they like it. They like it double spaced. They like more cameras and, and more pages over there. It's, uh, it's not easy. And you have to write in. Did you know this? When you write a multi camera script, you have to write in where the people laugh. Did you no. know that? No, you don't. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> people laugh and those people chuckle and people go, ooh. <laughs> uh -huh. um, uh, all right, so. Uh, Can we do a reading of the script tonight? Uh, <laughs> I don't think I don't know. I don't think we're allowed to. That's ridiculous. They paid they paid hundreds of thousands of dollars for it. I can't I can't 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 read it. It's, it's like, it was like ten dollars. Ten dollars worth? Yeah. Give, right. us, give us like give us like one like one couple. Of I did I did I did some some tasty fade ins. <laughs> that's, that's, that's ten dollars worth of. <laughs> what, what makes a tasty? I use fade the letter in? Q quite a bit. Uh, ways you might not expect. Yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm legally liable now. There's, the letter Q is used eight times in the script. You know too much. It's about a guy and his daughter. Um, you, can't, you can't really get deeper than that in a multi-camera sitcom. It's about a guy and his daughter. It's about relationships, Jeff. Multi-camera sitcoms are not a baser art form. In fact, they are, uh, in television terms, uh, 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 more classic, obviously. We started with The Honeymooners. Uh, when we started making sitcoms, we started with the idea that these were plays that were adapted for larger audiences, but at their heart were a couple hundred people watching something, reacting together as human beings. So they, they may seem to our new cinematic savvy eyes as being uh, uh, somehow more primitive or cheesy or watered down or silly, but I think that's just because a lot of them are written very poorly, and I think that I turned in one that's uh, uh, superior to everything on television. I think, <laughs> I think I'm going to revitalize the whole format. I think people are going to be going, why, 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 why doesn't everyone laugh at everything all the time when you're watching it? And uh, it's going to bury the voice and uh, 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 American Idol and, and, and Major League Baseball. <laughs> Everyone's going to start watching, watching shows about guys in an apartment that can't make the rent and have a dog. Forever. Um, this is a, I, I think this is a this is a nice looking place. Did you, the, the, Dave and Corey, that the, that's their names, right? The guys that, that that run the place. Dave and Corey. Am I getting that right? Yes. Okay. I don't. I, Dave and Corey are too modest to, to, to call out. Yes. <laughs> they are, they were they were interior design guys before they opened this uh, club. <laughs> that's not that's not a joke. <laughs> they told me. Um, uh, and uh, their Wi-Fi password is uh, Dave Corey, twenty six thirty. Why would you tell them that? Well, because if anyone wants to get on the Wi-Fi. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> just, just fragment this audience to pieces. We're going to be checking our Facebooks. And I said, I said, are you are you guys twenty six and thirty years old? Because I know my passwords often have like my ages uh, attached to them. When the when the thing says you have to have a number, you know. Uh, I, I just stick my age on there. So over the years, I'm like, oh, God damn it. Was I, was I 37 or 38 when I started getting into feet? <laughs> <laughs> when I went through my latex phase. <laughs> How many porn passwords do you think you have? I, I, impossible, Jeff. An impossible calculation. Fortunately, I lose my credit cards uh, enough that, that they, they expire by virtue of, you know, I just get a lot of emails going, we tried to bill your credit card. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> Yeah, that's what you get for your sneaky ways, c capitalizing on people in a moment of weakness. Uh, 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 I, I, I'm, not, I'm not only a porn addict, I'm also a drunk, so I lost my wallet again. <laughs> so I jerked off only as much as I needed to. Um, but uh, no, Dave and Corey are not 26 and 30, but that's how old they were when they started their first business. I thought that was... Uh, uh, cool. I don't know. I thought that was it. It, it, was, it was. It's funny the way that we have pu public things like Wi-Fi names and it's license plates and things that you can open a little Hobbit door and go into a. All of a sudden, you're finding out things about people. For example, Jeff. Uh, I don't have an example. That would have been, <laughs> that would have been so cool. Now you, I, I, as I've known you for a long time. You've gone through a series of fetishes. Uh, or maybe, maybe I, I, no, I, let's I, talk about that. Yeah. Uh, is, is, it's is, Rhode is, Island. It's not going to, you know, where's this going to go? 
uh, is there a, are, you, are you on something new that I don't know about? Is there, is there, have you gone down a, a new rabbit hole into, into finding out what? Question. What am I? What, what, what have I been into? Tracing my? I, I wish I could trace like, the history. I, I, for those of you who listened before, like I was at Dan's apartment like years and years ago, and he had taken all these uh, individual pages out of uh, like titty mags and like Playboys and stuff, and put them in a Manila folder, and just like rather than having all the magazines. Around, he just took out the pages that were potent. Right, you know. Yeah. And, 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 and anybody ever do that? Well, that, that's probably like a thing. Oh, oh God, uh, is, 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 it, is it Marissa? Yeah. Is, it, is your mom here again? No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we brought we brought this girl's mom on stage last night, and we talked about masturbation, and it was uh. it was touch and go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm good by accident. That was, ac that was accidental gold. <laughs> any, any, anybody over, I, I would estimate 30, any guy over 30 might know about that process where, like, uh, maybe you'd have to be over 35. Like, uh, the consolidation phase when you're like, you, 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 guy, guys, mo I, I've never met a guy who didn't have this problem that you, you tend to hoard pornography. Like, you can't throw it away. You, you, we, we get bored with it. We, we, you, know, you look at a picture of a certain person. Um, I, see how inclusive I was there? Um, <laughs> and you, and you, and you, like you, 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 it can, you can be like, holy shit, this is amazing. This is right up my alley. Okay, great. But it's like, like any MP3 or anything, like a, it, it, you know, or a piece of chewing gum or anything. It's just like oh, it's just a picture. It's not, it's not Aaron McGathy at the end of the day. Nice save. Nice save. <laughs> It's not someone you can love who brings you steak salads when you're working on your pilot and uh, who serves you tea when you have the sniffles and cuddles up with you in the morning and, and who looks like a little, little baby strawberry cuddled up under your comforter. And... She just gave you the business backstage about sneaking a nacho, though. Yeah. Well, she cares about me. She wants me to live long enough, and I'm 12 years older than her. Uh, sometimes she'll sit me down and go, Dan, you're going to die. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta eat, eat good. <laughs> she's, she's a specter of death. <laughs> she puts her hand on my face and spreads her fingers in a weird way and says, "You're gonna die. You're gonna die." <laughs> she cares about me. Um, the uh, no, uh, the the the. But even though the pornography loses its flavor, we, guys. I'm not gonna say back me up on this. I'm just. <laughs> but if any, any anyone who is the exception to this rule, I'd love to talk to you. Um, uh, the, the, you kind of you can't. I, I just I can't throw it away. You can't. If it, and now we've gone into this age where it's on your hard drive instead of like under your bed in a box or something. But back before the internet made all periodical pornography uh, obsolete, um, it was like there were these magazines, and you, you if you if you were like me and you're in your twenties and you were like. Oh, I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna get another one because everything loses its flavor, but you can't throw the old ones away. So what you're describing is you found my manila folder full of consolidated porn. Yeah, the, 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 the greatest hits. Like I gotta, just out of sheer bulk, I gotta, I gotta clear the decks here, but I'm gonna take the pages out that are most important and I'll put them all in a manila folder that was about this thick. <laughs> and Jeff was going through them. Oh, I'm sorry, this thick, I've held up my hands about two inches, two inches thick. Um, the uh, 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 Jeff Jeff found it and was going through it. It was like, what is this? Oh, that's my porn consolidation file. Uh, when I moved from such and such to such and such, I I consolidated for to save U-Haul space. <laughs> and he's looking through it, and he and he goes, geez, you got a got a thing for redheads, huh? And I, and I was like, I do. And then I looked through, it and they were all redheads. I, yeah. Not a, not an exciting story, but very interesting that yeah, I didn't but, but, see. Yeah, but that. then but that, then you started going down a road of. Uh, mannequin legs, nylons on mannequin legs, uh, videos about women under, under the table popping their shoe off their heel. Right. Uh, <laughs> then you bought the real, real doll and we didn't see you for a, a year <laughs> and, until you fucked her head off or something. What happened? Did, 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 did the head started to kind of, kind of tear? Well, that neck? sounds violent. Yeah, yeah. The, <laughs> any, anybody that works like in uh, television special effects will tell you that la latex and silicone and stuff, that, that, that stuff degrades, you know? <laughs> So, and then you see the you see these ads for oh buy a fake woman made out of this stuff and you're like ah oh, it's the perfect crime like I'll, I'll I'll take myself off the market I'll spare all these poor women I'll spare myself like like everyone will win but then six months later it's like the head's falling off and it's awful it's awful yeah it's it's really grody 
So, so where are you at now? Because when do you throw that thing away? <laughs> if, you, if, you keep, if you keep a magazine, when do you throw away your $6,000 rubber woman? You just, you just roll her up in a rug and throw her off the 101 freeway. Yeah. <laughs> Awful. Thank God I had an assistant by that time. <laughs> you made someone do it for you? Yeah, yeah. Well, well, how, did, how did she or he dispose of it? Uh, she, Ask her. I don't know. I, I went on a road trip. Said uh, that, that crate better be gone when I get back. It's depressing. Um, uh, <laughs> it's like it came in a crate. That's like it's like a Stephen King thing. It's well, right. it's a, I mean, think of the alternatives. Is it supposed to come in a spider web? Is it supposed to come in a cocoon? Uh, like a, like a gremlin? A womb. Uh, uh, so so where are you at now? What, what's what's uh, what's floating in your boat now? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know that you can tell us, or you don't know what it is. Well, I'm in a relationship now, so it's it's num number one. It's like it's it's not so much about exploration when you when you when you get the chance or have the urge. It's more of a shotgun thing. Like you're just like, all right, I'll tell you whatever. Um, but uh, uh, also because I'm in a relationship, it's really not the time to get that specific, like, like conjuring up. Like, I don't know. It feels like the past is more. Uh, you should. You, you're, you're more allowed to uh, be honest about the past. But like, I don't know if I. Let's talk about yesterday. Yesterday, uh, green-haired uh, middle-aged women. I was into. Uh, oh, I thought you meant like. Uh, um, uh, Aaron uh, flyered for the show today. She's so, she's so dedicated to the uh, to, to my happiness that she printed up a thousand flyers for the show and just took them around to hand out to people. Is anyone here because of the flyer? <laughs> Way to go! That doesn't mean the flyering was ineffective. It only means that she forgot to put the showtime on them. <laughs> It was a very hasty, love-motivated uh, job. It was, it was less about uh, engineering and more about an expression of, of, of wanting me to be happy. I was told, the, yeah, the first, uh, the first flyer she handed to somebody, a girl goes, oh, that's great. Uh, what time's the show? And I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> um, <laughs> what time is the show? That's what's weird. The answer is 5.30. Uh, uh, for those of you in podcast land, the sun is still streaming in through the Rhode Island skylights. Uh, there, there's, a, there's a cat lazily napping on the warm sidewalk. Uh, uh, there's eggs on the griddle. And uh, we're doing a little, little comedy, uh, a little conversative comedy before Bobcat Goldthwait comes on at 6 p.m.? What, what's it? 7.30. This is the second time that we uh, have found ourselves inadvertently opening for, for, for Bobcat. And I, I'm going to do some checking after the show. Actually, I'm going to do some checking with Bob, uh, uh, who we know and love. I want to know from Bob if the same woman at our agency is doing the booking of his shows. Because if she's the one, uh, if, if, if the reason why every time we're in the same town as Bobcat is because she's double booking rooms, I'm going to kick her in the fucking forehead. <laughs> uh, because I don't know how funny you guys feel at 5.30, but uh, 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 you, you should just be thankful that I'm an alcoholic because no, no, no one should be this drunk at this time. <laughs> Backstage, um, you're, you're feeling pretty cocky about your, your self-worth. You were talking about you know, your, your, your powers as a writer. You, you, were, you were hulking out back there. Yeah, what's different? What do you mean? What's your, what's your problem? I'm, I'm, can you, I have a sociopathic edge to me right now, don't I? Like, I'm not, I'm, I don't, can't you hear the kind of weird, cold, even temper to my voice? Don't, don't I seem like a little, like, 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 like soulless and like, like kind of into myself? Well, let's, uh, Unapologetic and like... Let's just, just as a, uh, as a barometer, I just want to do a little experiment just to see how different you are tonight from other nights. Yo, 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 bread, butter, milk, salt. I fucked your mama, asphalt. I fucked your mama, sky is blue. I fucked your mama one time and two. I fucked your mama on the point of her nose. I fucked your mama and a tree grows out of her face where I fucked her. That's how fertile my semen is. Yo. Pretty yep. good, pretty good. Yeah, I think you're, you're, you're about there. I don't know. 
You know but, my mom is dead, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So is Aaron. So is everybody's. Big, big whoop de doo for you, you keep, and all your dead moms. Maybe it's because you, you keep fucking people and trees grow out of their face. <laughs> Yeah, All I do is express myself. I mean, maybe, maybe, I, w- maybe I, I wish I had a dead mom. That's another way of saying it. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Mom, if you're listening, that doesn't mean I wish you were dead. It just means I wish I had a dead mom. It's two different things. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> I mean, it's like... Would you, would- would you, for rap purposes, because obviously you don't literally mean you're gonna fuck my mother or, or these people's mothers, would you ever rap about fucking your own mother? Uh, yeah, sure. I, 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 <laughs> yo, yo, yo. I fucked my own mom. It was, it was amazing. Skies were hazing. It was judgment day. I fucked my own mom in an intimate way. I curled up with her in a hamlet bed. I said, oh baby, gonna kiss your head. I'm gonna go down to your collarbone. I'm gonna fuck you like I was alone. I'm gonna jerk off on your titty and your knee. I'm gonna fuck you like I only fuck me. I'm gonna roll you over and fuck you from behind. I'm gonna fuck your pussy and see what I find. It's a wedding ring. It's my dad's. Oh shit, fucked you bad. I fucked you. Fucked you. Freudian style. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's yeah. good. I freak. Did you see? Uh, I don't know if you saw it, r- r- between where I said I, f- I forgot Oedipus's name. Oh, is that what you started scrambling? Yeah, yeah. I was. I, fu- I, I was. I was like Orpheus. What is it? Right. That's a that's a senior moment. I, f- I, I lost the word Oedipus. You don't get more primal than the word Oedipus. Like if you're if you're yeah. talking about fucking yeah, your you mom, you, you lost, uh, and you, you forget the, the word Oedipus, you you should you 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 get a couple scripts left in you before you need to uh, <laughs> Hunter the old Thompson. <laughs> Could you? F- Foster the Wallace, Spalding your gray, hemming your way. Yeah, what? What, what? what are the continued groans? Wait, that guy killed himself! <laughs> Wait, so did that guy! Three guys that killed... Those are all right! What are you... Would this next one better be a florist that lived forever? <laughs> That's another grinder that killed himself! I'm gonna fucking freak out! Spalding Gray's from Rhode Island. Spalding Gray's from Rhode Island. Oh, nice. Bre- I-, I knew that. Full circle. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Really? Is he originally he was born in Rhode Island? Did he live here? I was so bummed out when he uh, when he killed himself. I I I, I mean I, I get bummed out anytime anyone kills himself, but uh, I don't know about most of the people, <laughs> and I really really respected Spalding Gray, and uh, as I'm sure a lot of people here did, and uh, it's su- such a fucking bummer. Like I, like like uh, when you uh, uh, yeah like these talented people. I I, I uh, a, a fan uh, in the uh, Brooklyn show came up to me and gave me a David Foster Wallace novel that I never knew David Foster Wallace wrote because I just thought that David Foster Wallace was an essayist. Um, I, I didn't really actually know that he was an amazing novelist. I, obviously not a great fan. Infinite or something. Jest or another book? Yeah, Infinite Jest. And, That's a big-ass uh, book. That's like a phone book. And I, So I simultaneously learned that David Foster Wallace had written a novel at the, and that he had killed himself in, I think, 2008. I didn't know either of those facts. I bought that book uh, the day before he died. It was really Whoa. Uh, Haven't read it. <laughs> that one's especially tragic because, I mean, I, I think they're all probably, I, I don't know, there's probably linkage to, it's just, it's just, it's just so clearly kind of chemical, like, like, like he, was, he was on meds and um, he had to go off of them because they were causing him trouble and then he started to have troubles. Of like, I don't know, it's just, it just sounds like, just, it's, it's as, it, it, so when people kill themselves, it's kind of by definition you think, well, that's a voluntary act. When, if someone gets hit by a subway train or hit by lightning or gets cancer, that's by definition an involuntary act. But, but when people are kind of chemically um, uh, troubled and uh, there's medication involved and then they can't, you know, it's like, 
it's weird because it's it's as involuntary it seems as getting hit by a train like like if you caught this person on the right day at the right time and gave them the right uh, uh, thing in their pancakes can, pancake syrup or something you know like 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 that you could you could keep them from making this decision that was going to last forever uh, terrible awful hey uh, let's do the raffle yeah. <laughs> everybody look under your seats. But we're giving away lithium tonight. Uh, <laughs> if you think you need it, please use it, uh, especially if you're an incredibly talented writer. Um, <clears throat> I, I, will, I will never do that, I don't think. I, I'm not talented enough, and I also, I'm too chicken shit and too, I don't think I, I'm, I, 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 I don't, yeah, I could never picture myself uh, doing that. But, but at the same time, like, like didn't Spalding Gray do it because he was in a lot of physical pain? Wasn't he, like, fucked up? Yeah, he was in an auto accident in Ireland. You're right. And he came back and he couldn't ever get over that. Yeah, it was, a, it was a, I mean, that must be, to, the, to repeat that for, in case we didn't pick that up, the, uh, he was in an auto accident in Ireland and uh, he, never, he never got over it, meaning I'm assuming the pain never that was chronic and he couldn't handle it. Or there's people that like, have like, the, what's the thing where your ears ring, there's a tintinabulation or whatever was it? Tinnitus. Tinnitus, rather, yeah. Uh, the, uh, and it just drives them insane that they can never get this sound out of their ears and stuff like that. Like, that's, that's madness. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let's all fucking kill ourselves. <laughs> Would you guys do that? <laughs> just just make, the, okay, make, make this I'm the gonna most count interesting. To I'm going to count to three. I mean, and, and it's on three, you guys. It's not one, two, three, go. <laughs> I don't it's want one, anything. two, bang. <laughs> I don't, Jeff, can we, how would you do it? Kill myself? Not jump off something. That's no, crazy. never. That's crazy. How would I do it? All those people that jump off the Golden Gate Bridge, which is a, a numerous. Hey, Aaron, oh, Aaron, 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 can you hear me? Yeah. How, how, do you, I think you remembered this number. How many people jump off the Golden Gate Bridge every year? It's, uh, it's something like eight. I mean, the, the stat was weird. It's, it's like it's, eight it, every two weeks or something. Yeah, OK. Eight every two weeks, she said. So like four every week. Some of them are doing it because, you know, math was never a. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, What's that a month? A couple hundred, yeah. A couple hundred a year or more? Yeah, that's uh Wait, is that really? 60 a month? That can't be right. Are you but they, they estimate that it's much more oh. than that because a lot of people jump off in the middle of the night and their bodies are just swept away to the ocean. So that's the number that, that they find that they see. Oh, so it's wow. probably a million a night. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope we pick that up. Oh, I have, I have an I just love Aaron's tone of like having to report this from the back of a of a of a, of a town hall in Rhode Island. It's about a ma <laughs> Um, I, I have my answer. I, I would uh, firing squad. I would do it fucking old no school firing way. squad. No way, no. Because you, you see the footage of a firing squad, and the guy's there, and he's got a cigarette, and he's, he says, Vive la France, and he puts a cigarette. <laughs> and then they go, bang, he goes, and he's fucking gone. No way, he's, Jose. He's in heaven or hell the next moment. He doesn't, he doesn't, like, you don't, it's not electric chair or pills or, or the carbon monoxide in the garage. I would absolutely, and also, like, there'd be the drums. And then you'd be like, I'm fucking doing this right. Uh, this, this, is, this is some 17th century shit going down here. This is, that's how you do it. I don't know. I, too, much, I, I, too, 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 too much suicide formation. Um, uh, and, and that's not even suicide. What, are you going to go to heaven and try to play it off? Like you're going to, like, oh, 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 a bunch oh. of guys shot me. We know what you did. Oh, oh. Okay. I, would, I would make a t uh, time machine, go back in time, and try to kill the king. And then they and, I, and they would let, ask me how I wanted to die, and it would be death by by by. Well, I, I would I'd be killing myself by choosing to die by. If I wanted to kill Suicide myself by attempted so, regicide. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, I, I I'm gonna go hang myself. No, I, I'm not gonna go hang myself. <laughs> the show's I, not going that bad. I, you I'm gonna great. go with hanging myself. Really? Because uh, that seems that, that that's not that's not so clean. You you you, you dangle, you pee yourself. And then, then yeah, but people do it just like like sitting, like 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 they 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 do it on accident while jerking off, which means that you can do it kind of like like and 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 accident if you can accidentally do it while you're jerking off, that means it must be pretty painless. David Carradine. Yeah. Uh, the guy David from In Excess, uh, right? No. Kill Bill. Yeah, Michael Hutchins. 
Uh, no, no, no. I don't mean David Carradine was in, in excess. <laughs> I was adding to his list. David Carradine did autoerotic asphyxiation, we believe, and uh, the, guy, the, the lead singer of In Excess, yeah, right? But I wouldn't want to die with my dick in my hand. So yeah. I guess that's... Well, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to jerk off. I'm killing it myself. It wouldn't even be hard. Those, those guys you accidentally... you dick in your hands and a, a belt those, in your Those your... guys accidentally killed themselves while we jerking off. We don't know that. Yeah, we do because their dicks were in their hands. <laughs> I'm saying that therefore, because you're able to do it while having that much pleasure, and so obviously those guys had everything to live for in that moment. They would have stopped if they had known, oh shit, I'm dying. They would have stopped, which means that they weren't conscious enough of the fact that they were dying to stop it, which means to me, perfect death. Because it, 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 it means that you, can, you could actually sit in a in a relaxed position and like arrange like a thing around your neck, a ligature. Uh, are you kids listening? Um, <laughs> and, 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 and do enough with your own weight that you could lose consciousness and drift off into infinity. But second to that, carbon monoxide for the same reason, because it happens on accident <laughs> and people don't stop it from happening. So I think you go to sleep. I'm scared of pills because I think you would, you, you might. <laughs> So the guy in the front goes, this is a great show. <laughs> this is exactly, last, last night there were fucking mamas and there was a, this, everyone's gonna die tonight. All right. <laughs> it's kind of curious, like, 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 just before we get off this topic, because I'm, I'm, I'm just curious about it. What's like, 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 like the, uh... Who here has killed themselves? <laughs> well, who here would do it jumping off of something? There's a couple oh, hands. Couple, I'm not, I'm not going to make you come up and talk about it. I just wanted to see, like, percentage-wise. There's four or five or six people. Yeah. And then I think it's weird. It's, like a, it's not like a bell curve where it's like, oh, a bunch of people would do it by shooting themselves, and then 10% of people want to burn to death. Or it's, like, it's almost like a weird, like, fractal, uh, I don't know, pattern. It's every, everyone's a little snowflake of suicide. <laughs> yeah. Most importantly, I think nobody would kill themselves, mostly. Let's, 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 let's make an agreement. No yeah. suicides tonight. I feel like legally I have to <laughs> legally I have to say that real quick before we part that topic. Well, why don't like, you uh, let's, let, let's come up with a new reason for all of us to live? You know, we, we, yeah. we, we all have our own reasons. But let, let's 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 find out Obama's this, inauguration. This little uh, community that we've created here tonight, this audience has its own. We're, we're all one brand new organism. Let's let's create a brand new reason to uh, to never kill ourselves. To see Dan's new show. To see Dan's new show is a good reason. I, I, while, while, while you're getting stuff from the audience, I'm, going, I'm creating a new reason myself back here. <laughs> Dan has gone back to the sandwich cart to make himself a, a nice new vodka on the rocks. Um, Aaron McGathy came backstage uh, while, while we were getting ready, and she was very excited because uh, she was like, hey guys, Aaron from last night at the show in, outside of Boston is here. And we're like, oh yeah, cool. Like, she was cool. And like, I said, like, oh, the, the, the black girl, right? And she's like, she's like yeah. I'm like, is that why you're telling us? Is that, is that why that's interesting? And she was like, yeah, as a black Aaron. I've never met a black Aaron before. Black Aaron? Yeah, black Aaron, get up here, would you? <laughs> Whoa, black Aaron, bam a lamb. Whoa, black Aaron, bam a lamb. Whoa, black Aaron, bam a lamb. She's like Aaron, but she's black. <laughs> It, it proves that race is an artificial construct. <laughs> There's a black Aaron. Uh, hello, are, are you okay coming up here? I don't know. You're, you're, you're such a sweetheart. We, uh, we met last night in, uh, in, in uh, uh, the, 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 that place that's not Boston, Somerville. You, you even uh, kind of dress like a black Aaron. I could see Aaron McGathy if she were black. But just exactly like that. It's an Aaron outfit. I didn't even. Yeah. She got little black tights on and stuff like that. Yeah. Skirt, yes. I'm so obsessed with race. I didn't even. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, you you were here. You were at. You were in Somerville, and you came. You were with this dude. That is he here tonight? Same he's guy. Here, yeah. Oh, okay. Because I thought. Didn't you say uh, what? What was your name, sir? Uh, Matt. Matt. And is that like like I thought? I remember having a conversation about this. I was trying to figure out what your mo was. Weren't you like? Uh, uh, like, are you, you're not from any of these places, are you? No, I'm from Colorado. Right, so... Colorado? So, and you, and you, you're, you're staying with your friend Matt for the Somerville show. Well, Matt's from Vermont. Um, we... <laughs> <laughs> we decided to um, come to Boston for the Somerville show, and since Rhode Island is close, we decided to come down here, too. And the, but then... 
you're, I'm wrong I'm saying not. you're, are you going to a third show too? I'm going to Denver too. Right, because that's Woo! in Colorado where yes. you're from. Yes, yes. Okay, that's mm-hmm. where the confusion is because that, that's where I was saying, oh, is Matt going to be there too? And you're like, no, because yeah. Matt's from around here. Right. All right, all right. It's not that intriguing. I, I, <laughs> I, I, I thought I would stumble onto like solving a bank robbery, uh, like, like, like spree or something. <laughs> like you guys were, uh, there was a trail of receipts. We could, we could, we could, we could turn you in. Aaron was saying that there was, there was some interesting story to why your name is Aaron. Is that true? Oh, uh, well, I was just mentioning um, in Freakonomics, I told Aaron that um, there's a chapter about naming children, how um, when it's harder to get a job when your name is something like, you know, Leticia or something more mm-hmm. ethnic sounding. And my, pa- my mother made sure that all of her children's names were neutral sounding or mm. sounded, you know, she wanted to make sure that we'd be able to at least get her foot in the, foot in the door. And Has that worked out for you? What, what do you do for a living? <laughs> I'm a professional Leticia. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, right now I'm a student. Okay, great. What do you, what do you study? I'm studying web design and computer programming. Oh, fantastic! So yeah. Do, do, do you feel like your uh, your 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 less ethnic name has given you uh, that foot in the door? I think it's it's a lot of things, um, <laughs> and I, I I honestly I can't tell because I haven't I've lived my entire life with being an Aaron and. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've there been. are some pretty crazy names though. My friend had I went to school with a girl named Exquisita, which is awesome. <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> it's kind of what it brings up a weird uh, and probably uncomfortable topic though. The idea that that like it, it, it comes up over and over again. The idea of um, of things that are somehow like that we identify as as cultural. And then the things that, like, you know, Bill Cosby rails against, like, 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 like you have two, two sides of this spectrum where, and then you, and, uh, you can put yourself in any shoes, or I can anyway, as a weird, uh, mixed up white guy. Like, I can't find a place where I'm comfortable just going, oh, that's the empirical fact, because, like, like, there are people who would go, well, don't, you don't don't assimilate, and then there's a like like like. Well, what are you assimilating? Like what? It, it, it's all so fucking confusing because it all starts with co-opting humanity, bringing people over, giving them a job they didn't ask for for uh, far below their pay grade, um, <laughs> denying them uh, you know some staples like medicine, literacy, etc., and then at some point changing our mind about it, uh, which is a great 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 turn of, turn of events. Um, but the, the, and then and then the, the now all this like 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 now uh, 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 complexion being linked to empirical realities uh, demographically like uh, 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 wealth distribution and things like that, but it being conveniently racist to point out any correlations at someone's leisure. You know, a Republican gets to go. What do you mean? I thought everyone was equal. What do you mean? He's black, therefore he's poor. What are you a racist? Um, and then, like, like it, 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 it's, it's, it's awfully, it, it almost seems like only the bad guys win as long as we keep staying confused about all of it. As long as we keep just kind of like worrying about the fact that we're different. And as it seems like that's the only leitmotif, that's it. And that that's the only empirical truth is a class system that, that rich people kind of want poor people to just be unsure about everything that unites them. Uh, bam! Oh, I fucked your black mama. I did it with my white dick. So what? I didn't care. I'm not racist. I united humanity with my dick. Black mama. Uh, I don't know. Aaron, do you have any opinions about any of this stuff? I do. All Um. right. Can, can you do them in two four time or you wanna, no? Uh, what, yeah, let's let let it rip. Um, do you, want, you want to beat? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> um, I it's actually one of the reasons I really like your show. When, like I love this podcast is because you have difficult conversations about things like that. You sort of it sort of feels like a journal, you know, like dear diary. Or something like that. It definitely um, feels more like a journal than, like, say, a, a, a screenplay or a TV show. Something with structure <laughs> <laughs> that has a point to it. <laughs> but 
and it's important to have difficult conversations because whenever you don't talk about things, then it doesn't make the things go away. Exactly. So. Like every every single. I mean, I, I, okay. Like we we we've been a human race for for quite a while, and I'm sure that there were uh, uh, times when there were bigger problems than lack of communication, <laughs> like people just stabbing you and. and <laughs> fucking the stab hole like because you were like from somewhere else or um, I'm sure there was like shit just happening right outside your front door that had to be dealt with before we learned to communicate and be honest but now it seems like every single problem can be solved through people speaking what's in their head honestly so, and, and, and letting it either like, like because how far does a, a person who is our modern definition of racist, uh, you know, how far is that person going to be able to state their case before solutions start cropping up even to his own fucking brain? Uh, or hers. <laughs> <laughs> Women can be racists. It's okay, ladies. <laughs> um, it, 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 and, and it's like, 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 like people communicating about that. It, it's, it's, and I, I, I'm tr that's what makes me it's sound to some people like incredibly jaded and cynical even though the weird, ironic truth is that I'm so optimistic because what I believe is that people, w once you start babbling, like, like the inevitable result is that shit gets, like, that you thought was important stops being important. Shit that you thought was a monster stops being, uh, uh, it turns out to be your own reflection or like your dad's ghost or something. And, and the reality just becomes like everyone, got, it's so simple, like that we're on a playground again going, oh, I just, I don't want to be alone. I, 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 if, I, if I had to choose anything, I'd just choose to, to be around other people. I'll, let's work the rest out uh, as we have to. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, that, that's so, I agree. I agree that my podcast is great. <laughs> Uh, I, 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 I have a question. I mean, because I'm asking this ignorantly, uh, because you're black and you're a woman. What, what's what's more pervasive for you, racism in your life or, or sexism? Like, what's what, what do you feel you get the what is the more prevalent or the most like like the, the, get, you get the most dominated by? Or you could ask in a more hypothetical sci-fi sense. Like, if you had if you if you got to have one button on your wrist that could make you switch, like, like, at, but switch back anytime you wanted. Like, 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 would you rather have a button that turned you into a dude when you, whenever you wanted, or a button that made you white whenever you wanted? I just made that up. <laughs> <laughs> and you get to change back anytime. It's not, it's not, it's not about, ch it's not about not liking yourself. It's just about the social obstacles or whatever, kind of inconveniences. Um, I, I think that I've probably never, ever wanted to be a man. I've never even considered it. <laughs> um, I think there's, when, you know, every kid has that moment in their life when they I just, haven't either, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> never wanted this. <laughs> I didn't ask for it. It's, 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 it's flopping around down there. It, it seems very impractical. <laughs> I have nipples. <laughs> they, sorry, they feel good. All right, sorry. Um, I grew up in the suburbs, and I grew up around everybody. Everybody else was white around me, and I think whenever I was a kid, I really didn't realize. It's not that I wanted to be white. I, I think that I just didn't realize I was black. Right. And so whenever I did realize I was black, I was like, oh, well, I don't want to be different. So. Yeah, I had I had a lot of friends growing up when I was in, in Milwaukee public school. Like when I was when I was, like definitely in grade school. It was like, I was uh, sort of like that, 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 I think Howard Stern said the same thing in his like, little movie that I saw, he, he illustrated the same thing. It was, I, was, I was actually a, like a lone little, little white drop in a, in, a, in, a, in a public school see that I, I didn't really perceive until later. Um, and uh, like I have like little photos of me in class, like, like, like graduation ceremonies, and it's like my head like in a sea of things that I now distinguish, but that I didn't instinctively do back then. And it's like we find it hard to believe as a racially obsessed society that it actually is an artificial construct, but it is so much more artificial than so many more real things that we've actually also been hypnotized to not pay attention to. Um, and that are more real, like 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 poverty and wealth, uh, and, and and how that doesn't make you a good or a bad person. Like we we are very convinced that poor people are their own fault. Like that that when you wake up poor, you're a piece of shit. You did something wrong. We're also very convinced that when you get sick, 
uh, you did something wrong. Like, I still feel that. When somebody rolls into a room in a wheelchair, I get fucking, like, I go into crisis mode. Like, my goal is to, is to figure out how to avoid, like, this poor person who probably, like, would be into talking about what is wrong and what happened and, 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 and how hard it is and all this stuff. But all I can think about through after school specials and, and my own like narcissism is like, oh fuck that guy. Like I he's gotta be a living ghost or that, that's that's what's best for both of us. And that and that's way more real than cheekbones and, and melanin in your in your skin. Uh, because there's a lot of like yeah, it's it, so anyways. I, I keep sounding like I'm like like, like running for something. It's stupid, <laughs> but I, I, I'm just I just I, 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 I'm 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 probably flawfully like fascinated with with, with this stuff, and I. Uh, um, uh, 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 what, what was our point? Wait, what were we on? I, 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 I derailed that. I derailed it. We're what talking were we? about uh, sexism, racism, stuff like, 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 like. Right, right. I mean, sexism seems more real because women are chemically different from men. They are. They literally have no penis <laughs> from birth. Like there is an actual <laughs> hole where the penis goes on a man, and 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 there's. <laughs> This is true. No, it's true. Uh, I'm just shaking my head back here. Uh, uh, and, and, and as an extension of sexism, then homophobia is actually a little more real, even though there's a huge difference between homophobia and racism in that a homosexual can walk around and get a job and hang out, and, ne and if they choose to, they can never have anyone or even themselves be conscious of the thing that makes them different um, uh, uh, inside. Women can't like they can't escape their gender and uh and to the extent that we keep paying attention to race like like people can't escape their race uh what's my point i don't know um there's got to be like a card game we can make out of this or uh, what do we i, I think is, is 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 the problem solving itself are we just getting we're, we're getting i noticed that like 20 year olds are bored with like things that used to make me laugh when I was 20. Ra you know, like race used to be a much hotter button when you mashed it as a comedy writer. Like, like I can see myself becoming antiquated in, in writers' rooms. I can see people like like Donald Glover like like going like 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 yeah, it's that, it's not that funny. It's like, and it's not indignant or anything. It's just it's just getting hackier and hackier to 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 mash those buttons. Which I think is a good sign. Is that is it is it is it is everything fading? Is everything getting better? Sure. Yeah. I, know. I I think that things move in cycles, honestly, and it's really difficult to tell, especially with the recent history of race in this country. Um, I do think that the problem with people ignoring it and getting bored with it is that they still haven't dealt with the problem, the actual issue. I mean, people... The actual issue is legacy of a thing that actually factors into I mean, to class, right? It's like, class, it's privilege, it's um, just basically how we see each other. I mean, I think sometimes people think racism is bad, but basically we don't understand why race, right. racism is bad or why sexism, sexism is bad. Um, we... we are focusing so much as a society on pinpointing little individual things that people are just labeling. Oh, this is PC. Now it right. has to be PC. Trying to, we're 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 actually like 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 fucking up the problem by going. Okay, here's the seminar that the legal department can use right. to avoid legal liability. We're going to teach all of you racist sexists how to seem less racist and sexist right. in the workplace. <laughs> These are the things you're not allowed to say at the water cooler in order to keep Sony from getting sued. Right. And, and so the, the, this guy who might become less racist or sexist watches the video and goes, Okay, I can't say nice tits. Yeah. And it, all he knows is that he can't say it. Yeah. He doesn't know why. Yeah, he like, doesn't know like, like, like that it might get him laid more, for yeah. instance, to <laughs> yeah. not say it. Yeah. He doesn't know, he doesn't know uh, yeah, that, 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 that humanity is, a, is an individual thing. He's not getting that from a, from a, from a sexual harassment seminar. Um, yeah, all right. Well, let's, uh, let's, let's do something with Aaron that... Uh, that um, um, That's both racist and sexist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's do like a let's do a little. Um, I don't want to be too trite, but I want to do like a, one of our little movies or TV shows, Jeff. I want to do like a little. I like that we've started doing this on the road. Oh, do little, like uh, like Aaron. What's your uh, what's your what's your big ambition? What do you what do you want to do? Huh. Um, 
like pie in the sky, dream, dream gig? I, I, I would love to do something creative that changes a lot of people or affects a lot of people's lives. And what are you doing now to pay your rent? Um, I work, I'm a nanny, and I work at Banana Republic. <laughs> two, two, two groups gave me some vocal support. <laughs> or one very specific person. Um, I think Aaron should come up, white Aaron should come up and play black Aaron on this. Don't you think? <laughs> Aaron McGathy to the stage. In the role of a lifetime. Okay. We're going to test your range right now, Aaron. Erin McGathy, yeah, <laughs> is gonna is gonna win a uh, Tony for Hi. for her portrayal of Black Erin. <laughs> Erin McGathy, everybody. I was a nanny for a long time. Erin was also a nanny. Yes, it's true. Both Erins were nannies. Oh, you you still are nannying, uh, uh, new Erin. New Erin. Right? Yes. Uh, uh, all right. So uh, all right, she's a nanny. She's worked at Banana Republic. Her aspiration is to create things for people. Create things that will change people's attitudes, change their minds. I'm sorry. <laughs> change your attitudes, change your minds, maybe open their minds. You know. Art, like, some, like art or literature? Or? Art, literature. I love to write. I love to draw. Um, I want to be a graphic designer or web designer. Oh, okay. to, just kind of creativity all, just, all across the board. Yeah. That's great. Something creative. That's a, gra that's a great aspiration. All right. Here we go. It's a new movie. It's called Black Aaron. Uh, 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 transparent Soul. Transparent Heart. Soul sounds racist. Ah, dreams and peace. <clears throat> I'm changing you today. So what? You're black. Oh. <laughs> what? I'm, I'm black? This is the moment when I realized I was black. I... What are you doing downstairs? Upstairs, stairs, Aaron. It's your mother. I'm making pancakes. Uh, Mom, honey, I'm... honey, leave her alone. She's going through a rough time right now. What do you mean? She's my little girl. She just found out she was black. We should have told her a long time ago. <laughs> oh, God. You're going to have to go have one of those talks that mothers give to their similarly raced children. <laughs> All right. I suppose this is the bet I made. Aaron? Yes, Mom? <laughs> Your father told me about something that happened today. Yeah. I guess it's time to tell you about a world that I tried to shield you from by giving you a neutral name. I don't understand. My name is Aaron. Uh, everyone named Aaron is a, is a mousy or average looking white girl. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, ladies, ladies, I'm sorry to interrupt. Can I come in for a second? Yes. I feel like I've been, I've been a bad husband and father to both of you, and I'll tell you why. There's something I've been meaning to tell you both for a long time. You're both women. What? Yes. Oh, oh, no, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'm fine with that. Okay. I'm fine with that. I'm uh, fine with that. Should, should feel like you should know that. Oh. Mom, I really hate Dad. Your father is an award-winning uh, uh, obstetrician. <laughs> who, 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 is, who, is, who, is, who is given special accolades for his ability to, to notice rate, uh, uh, gender. <laughs> Honey, honey, oh my god, the, the, the obstetrician society is called. I won the golden fetus. <laughs> so I go back to what you were doing. I have to go back out and destroy creativity in the world. Oh, yeah. did, I mean, did you hear that? He just, he just said. That's just his way. The important thing is to love one another. I, I, I gave you a, a, a mousy white girl's name because... I didn't want you to be one thing or the other. I wanted you to feel comfortable in a world. I, my dream is that these problems that we're subjecting each other to, will, they'll just go away. All right. That's, that's very nice. Good, <laughs> good luck on your final exams. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, no! 
I just uh, want to know if you still want to go to the snowball dance with me. <laughs> Matt, I, I have to focus. I mean, if I'm going to change the world with art or music or graphic design or something else or speech or something, first of all, I'm going to have to spend some time focusing, and then I'm going to have to do it. That wasn't a note, Aaron. You're doing fine. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought I was going to get a big laugh, and I didn't. I'm just kidding. She's the best. Okay. Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I have the answers to this final exam. Like you wouldn't what? even have to study. Just copy off of me, and then, and then you can focus on being creative. Or my name's not uh, Phil Dorfman. It's not. It's Matt. <laughs> oh, Matt, 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 right. So I, I, I couldn't possibly trust you. <laughs> Look, man. Hello, son. I'm sorry I brought to bother you at school. Your name's actually Matt. I should have told you that oh. a long time ago. Oh. Sorry, go, oh. back to, go back to what you're, go back to harassing that girl over there. <laughs> Listen, also, just, she's black. Hey, I don't care. I've never had a reason to care, and I'm not gonna have one today. Okay, so just copy off of me, and then you'll have time to be creative, and we could be boyfriend and girlfriend, and the, and the world could be free of race. We could have a little beige baby. <laughs> well, I... Gosh, there's so many, so many things running through my mind. I, 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 Nine I, months later. Push, daughter, push. Push. I'm gonna Dad, I, anybody else? No, I'm not. Anyone else? Nobody in this town has won more awards for delivering babies than me. I'm a three-time Golden Baby Award winner. And I will deliver your baby. <laughs> oh my God. He, oh, he's coming out breach. He's coming out breach. Uh, Ah, it's hideous! Ah, it's hideous! Ah, Don't mix the races! Ah, Don't mix the races! Ah, ah, ah. Okay, well that went differently than... Uh, Transparent heart, everybody. Transparent heart. That did not... Aaron, that did not... That was not the right... I, I, Okay, let's compare notes. My plan, <laughs> my thought was that Phil slash Matt would, who, who loved Aaron regardless of her race, was gonna have her copy off of his test for his own convenience, his own visceral convenience. Right. And then they were gonna get caught by a teacher and then he was gonna s throw her under the bus and like, you know, kind of like play the race card. Great, so you wrote the improv scene we were going to do. <laughs> well, I'm a fucking genius. I was like writing ahead. <laughs> like, I, like, I mean, I, I certainly didn't intend to cut to the birthing of a minotaur. Right. <laughs> which, which seemed a direct, like it was like a cautionary tale against misogyny. What did we create? I think we haven't figured out our problems. Is this cast a, 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 a stark, uh, but trenchant social commentary on, on the state of things now. It's making, it's making right. us look at ourselves the way we actually are, the darker version of ourselves that we actually are right now. I mean, it, I, I have to admit, I mean, I'm, I'm white, Aaron. Uh, I'm white, Aaron. No, I, I, I uh, the, definitely in my head about playing, uh, what is this look on your face? I'm just waiting to... Definitely yeah. in my head about playing black Aaron, because when you're playing a character, you're like, how is this character different? From from me, but we're the but we're the same. We have the same. This is the talkback portion of the. You ever go to a play and there's a the talkback? Uh, what, what's your takeaway from our, from our little tale there? I mean, what, what do we do right? What do we do wrong? Oh, black hair. <laughs> I thought it was. I thought it was great. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah. yeah. After it. You know why? Because. As much as you, as a dominant white male, want to control the outcome of things, especially involving women uh, in communication, uh, it turns out sometimes life takes its own course. Only I, as a white man, know how to solve racism and sexism. <laughs> it is something I have been born with the equipment to do. <laughs> <laughs> I was really excited, Dan, that you got to show everyone what your newest fetish is, which is we, we pretend that he's being born <laughs> from me. It's really exciting. All right, well, let's thank new human Aaron for uh, coming up here. Thank you. I'm so sorry for everything. No, thank you. Oh, God. I hope we can heal this scarred world. Thank you, Aaron. Isn't she lovely? She's such a sweetheart. Um, may, may I, uh... <laughs> 
the, the big question is, uh, if, if we see her in Colorado, then we didn't totally blow that. Yeah, yeah, that's the good yeah. metric, yeah. Hopefully she won't get the flu and send us the wrong signal. It'll be like a Romeo and Juliet thing. Like, we, we, is, is Aaron out in the audience? And then she's not, and we're like, wow, we really fucked up. And then we kill ourselves, and then she shows up late, and she's like, they killed themselves, and then she kills herself. How did, how did, Jeff, how did Jeff organize a firing squad that quickly? <laughs> Why, Dan, why does Dan sticks in his hand? Yeah, I mean, why is he? I thought he... <laughs> that's that's a whole. I, uh, that's, that's cross signals. Was this a was this a, su a group suicide or a ritualistic murder slash orgy? <laughs> I would I would jump off a bridge. Oh, all right. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, there's a couple people who would. It's yeah. crazy. You got. I don't know if it's. A, I don't know if I would recommend watching that documentary or not. The bridge. No, it's, oh boy, it's pretty. It's rough. I mean, it's, it's, I don't it's know like if it's a really film. a documentary. It's really it, it feels ghoulish and freak freak showish. Like you're, I think the reason you're watching it is because you want to watch people jump off the Golden yeah. Gate Bridge. It should be called "Yes, You Get to See People Die." And yeah, they kind of dress it up like that's not what you're watching. I watched it. It sets the sad music and it shows people crying on the Golden Gate Bridge, and then it just ends with this like this repetitive just people just plummeting. And they just and shot. They shot it, and so the whole time you're going, "You fucking shot it! Come on, this isn't and journalism." You, shot it. you could have run up and stopped them, but you they. Just film people like, yeah, like shoot a bottle rocket at them, something, because uh, they're shooting it from, from way down below. Really but the, 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 and the thing that was the clincher was like, okay, because they, they kept interviewing this, uh, uh, this one guy, and I was like... This uh, guy's family. Uh, I, was, I, was, I was like, they kept talking about him and coming back to him, and I was like, there's nothing building here, I'm not learning anything new. If I find out that he just jumped off the bridge in the coolest way, <laughs> if, if, if they just got the best shot of him committing suicide, then I'm fucking, that, that's, that's the final word on this thing. And yeah, sh yeah. Well, I, I was really sick to my sure stomach enough. after. I was like, why did I watch that? I was really like, it really, it's really fucked me up for a whole, a whole day. Suicide's not the answer, rap. <laughs> Coming up. Yo. Yo. MC Life <laughs> coming at you with a oh, new message. Yeah. It's about to get positive. Don't do it. Don't take it all. Your mom and your dad gave you so much to call upon. <laughs> Study your math. Don't drown yourself in the bath. If you want to strangle yourself, do it while you're jerking off. You might like it, and then stop doing it, and then you'd be like you came harder. Oh, <laughs> life. Rhode Island! <clears throat> um, may I ask something? This is, like, this is a really self-focused uh, question. From you? <laughs> <laughs> to uh, <laughs> um, uh, earlier when you were asking Dan about his fetishes and stuff, I just want to ask, I want to ask the audience, this is, this is an honest question, and I will, I will take whatever answer you give me, and I'm not, this is not a leading question, I'm honestly asking you, because I'm sitting in the back, uh, when Jeff was really drilling Dan about what his new fetishes are, should I feel bad about that? <laughs> should I? Should I? Should I feel like? I was, just, uh, I was just fucking with him, obviously. No, I know, I know, I know. But it felt it. Uh, when I was sitting back there, I was like, uh, "Is Jeff saying in like a in a very subtle way that he doesn't respect our relationship?" Certainly. Or is it okay? Okay. No, that seems okay. Like thank you. That's why I asked. That's why I asked. No, I, mean, I think the worst thing you can say about Jeff is that he was trying to instigate us breaking up by, <laughs> by, by creating a dynamite podcast entertainment. <laughs> I, I wouldn't put him past that, but, but, but oh. he's not a, he's, yeah, he, yeah. He's not a gun. Trying, I'm not trying to bring the mood down. I was trying I'm really, to shoot I'm really two arrows. <laughs> Uh, well, I'll see you guys at D&D. All right. Goodbye, baby. Speaking of D&D, &D, we should probably bring Spencer up right now, right? Spencer! Oh, yeah. Yes. His, his it bag, says bag of holding. His bag it does say bag of holding. Uh, yeah. Again, for those of you just joining us for the first time, this is Spencer, our dungeon master, who's been hey. traveling with us. Wait, where are Corey and Dave, respectively, like in the audience? Where are they? Are they? Are, I mean, are, they don't have to be in the audience. Are you guys both back there? Yeah, 
Oh, okay. Wait. What, what, okay. I was, I was like wondering. I don't know like, on am, side. I, am I face blind or is this guy either Corey or Dave? But this is no, this is just random guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, that's how weird my I, like I, I have I have I have borderline uh, prosopagnosia. Oh my god! I just realized we're going really late. What? Oh shit! Is Bobcat? Is Bobcat just, just called me. No, I'm good. Okay, I just realized. When do we have to get out of here? Five minutes. Oh, Shit. Okay. Oh, okay. Two minutes speed round. If you know, I didn't know this was a bullet train show. I didn't yeah, know we sorry, had to. That's totally my fault. Yes. Bad, bad comp trolling. Oh, okay. All right. Well, well I, it's, I, a, I, it's a bummer. We're, we're sad to go. Uh, we'll we we have Whiskey to get out of here after. to load out so that so the Bobcat can load his audience in. Uh, so uh, we're gonna put it right to the limit here. So uh, Spencer, uh, get us up to date. You guys wake up. You're inside of a giant beast. <laughs> Good job. I kill the beast. Nope. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, so, uh, describe this beast. What are, what are we looking at here, Spencer? You wake up in the wreckage of a ship. It seems to be ripped asunder. Although you're in a rather dark place, there seems to be some sort of ambient uh, light shining through. You can see the red walls of wherever you're in through the cracks in the ship. No. <laughs> I can see the what? <laughs> you can see the red walls outside of your ship. You're obviously in some sort of red cavern. We got, yeah, we got, we got swallowed by an infinifish. That's what I'm saying. Oh, we like, got, okay. you know, well, for some of these guys, the uh, Boston episode hasn't aired. Like, it ended with some weird flashback to a nursery rhyme my mom said about something called an infinifish, right. and then the ship got impacted by a huge thing. Now we're waking up inside. So we're in the belly of the whale right now. Yeah, this you guy. might just be. That might just be. All right. Uh, 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 well, we also learned in Brooklyn that Ray of Frost... It's the uh, shittiest spell you have. <laughs> <laughs> Ray of Frost is like, hey, hey uh, go get me some ice. <laughs> so, okay, I, 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 are, are there squirrels or small woodland creatures I can summon inside this Infinifish? No, they're not. No. Okay, I know. You could maybe summon an Epiglottis. We can walk out into this. Uh, what, is, what, is this uh, what, is the, what are we looking at if we walk outside into this enclosure? Exiting the wreckage of the ship, you see that you're at the bottom of a great red pit. Inky blackness stretches onward ahead of you. You can see globules studded on the walls full of a green glowing fluid. It casts light throughout the room. You see three white clothed figures approach from the north, assumedly. I, I yell out, hey! <laughs> they slowly approach silently. <laughs> All right. All right, we... Yeah. I, tr I tried everything I could. <laughs> uh, uh, use your diplomacy. Talk to these guys. All right. Uh, I, I step forward, hands raised up uh, 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 to indicate uh, no weapons uh, in them, uh, nor no spells being cast. Uh, and I, uh, I, uh, I, I, I kind of do like a fancy bow, um, like I'm a fancy person, <laughs> and then I, and then I, and I walk to them uh, very gently, very gently, very diplomatically. They approach. I see you're a fancy gentleman. Well, <laughs> well, this is no place for your kind. We have a dwelling not far from here. You'd have to stick close. It's quite dangerous. Uh, who, who are you? We were swallowed by the Infinifish many moons ago. We're trying to make the best of it. Uh, okay, well, uh, I think you're probably good people to go with in the short term. Uh, 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 can my friends come? Yeah. All right. Guys, we should, we should follow these guys. Well, these there. guys, they've been, they've been here for many moons. We should, we should go find people that, uh, that know how to get out of here. Well, I mean, it, it, it's an Infinifish. They all left. Uh -huh. They all left. All right, of course, yeah. That's, that's flawed, flawed logic. Let's, I say we follow them, especially since it's got to be like a two-minute episode. Oh, uh, yeah, and also it's, it's, we're, we're already over time right yeah, now. Yeah. yeah. So we follow them. Cliffhanger. Cliffhanger! Yeah! I'm sorry, Rhode Island. All right, Dan. I hate to do it to you. Oh, boy. We talked about killing ourselves. Uh, Aaron thought I was trying to destroy your relationship. <laughs> I'm uh, sorry. No, I know. No, 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 I was just I'm fucking... Just oh, I just, yeah, they're hugging and making up. <laughs>
place called Road. It's an island in a place that you've never known. It's a magical realm where all your dreams can come true and be owned. Down in Harmon Town, I saw your mama on the street. And I came on her feet. She's a whore that cannot be beat. I fucked your mama in Harmon Town. I'll give her dollars, number and ten. That's all she's worth. She's a worthless person to me. Your mama's harm in town. So sorry. It's hard to improvise lyrics. And a lot of times it results in talking about fucking your mama. But it's not a real mama. It's just the mama of America. Mama of America. <laughs> 50 states wide, mama. <laughs> District of Columbia. Is your pussy I fucked America? <laughs> President Obama, you here? I'm gonna fuck your country without fear. I'm gonna take ownership and thrust from my constitutional right to fuck you over again. Fuck your mama, fuck your country. Fuck your mama, fuck your country. Fuck, fuck, fuck all the governments and all the politicians. Fuck all the police and fuck everything. Thank you for coming to Harmon Town, everyone. Harmon Town. Spencer Crichton. Harmon Town. White Aaron. Black Aaron. Like, we'll just, like, kind of... Oh! 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 Stage dive! Oh! All right, you know what? Oh! Everybody, we're all taking the party over to Whiskey Republic. You want to come over there? There's merchandise for sale. We'll hang out. We'll sign stuff. And you can be... We'll, we'll get Dan a real stage float when we go over there. Whiskey Republic, everybody. Oh! Thanks again. We love you all. Yeah.